Mastering Cloud Service Brokers Operational Excellence Framework Sacrifices Nothing to Guarantee Seamless Performance Which specific measures does its Operational Excellence Framework employ to ensure the scalability and high availability of its services, thereby guaranteeing seamless performance and meeting the fluctuating demands of its clients? Here's the case study. When it comes to being a cloud service broker, operational excellence is not just a nice to have, it's a life or death situation. Your clients are counting on you to deliver seamless performance and meet their fluctuating demands. One misstep and they're gone. I've seen it happen to even the biggest players in the industry. So how do you ensure that your services are always scalable and highly available? For us, it starts with a mindset shift. We had to move away from the traditional hero culture where individual heroes save the day to a more systematic approach. It's about designing a system that's robust, efficient, and adaptable. The first step was to take a hard look at our organizational design. We realized that our ops team was still working in silos, with each member focused on their own tasks. We needed to break down those silos and create a more collaborative environment. We reorganized our teams into smaller, autonomous units, each responsible for a specific service or feature. This allowed us to respond faster to changing demands and identify potential bottlenecks earlier. Next, we implemented a rigorous testing and validation process. We automated everything we could, from code reviews to deployment scripts. This not only reduced errors, but also freed up our engineers to focus on higher level tasks. We also introduced a feedback loop, where our clients' feedback was channeled directly to our development team. This closed-loop system helped us identify areas for improvement and prioritize our development roadmap. Another critical component was our investment in observability tools. We needed to be able to see what was happening across our entire infrastructure in real time. This allowed us to detect anomalies, identify root causes, and respond quickly to incidents. We also implemented a blameless post-mortem process where we analyzed each incident without finger-pointing. This helped us to learn from our mistakes and implement changes that would prevent similar incidents from happening again. But here's the thing, operational excellence is not just about technology, it's also about people. We realized that our engineers were burning out, trying to keep up with the demands of our clients. We needed to prioritize their well-being and provide them with the support they needed to thrive. We introduced flexible work arrangements, mental health resources, and a robust onboarding process that ensured our new hires were set up for success. As we implemented these changes, I couldn't help but think about the irony of it all. We were trying to create a system that was more human, more compassionate, and more responsive to our clients' needs. Yet, we were also relying on technology to achieve that. It was a paradox that I struggled with, but in the end, it was the key to our success. Today, our services are more scalable and available than ever before. Our clients are happy, and our engineers are thriving. We're not perfect, but we're constantly learning and improving. And that's what operational excellence is all about. To ensure the scalability and high availability of its services, the Operational Excellence Framework of a Cloud Service Broker CSB, employs several measures. These measures are designed to guarantee seamless performance and meet the fluctuating demands of its clients. Firstly, the CSB ensures that its infrastructure is designed for scalability. This is achieved by using a cloud-agnostic architecture that allows for easy addition or removal of resources as needed. The CSB also employs an event-driven scaling approach where resources are scaled up or down based on predefined events such as changes in workload or traffic. This ensures that resources are always matched to demand, preventing under or over provisioning. In addition, the CSB uses containerization and microservices architecture to ensure high availability. Containerization allows for the packaging of applications and their dependencies into a single unit, making it easy to deploy and manage them. Microservices architecture, on the other hand, enables the breaking down of applications into smaller, independent services that can be developed, deployed, and scaled independently. This ensures that if one service experiences an issue, it does not affect the entire application. 
The CSB also employs advanced load balancing techniques to distribute workload across multiple instances, ensuring that no single instance is overwhelmed and becomes a single point of failure. This is achieved through the use of load balancing algorithms such as round robin, IP hash, and least connection. The CSB also uses auto scaling to automatically add or remove instances based on predefined conditions such as response time, CPU usage, or memory usage. To ensure high availability, the CSB implements a multi availability zone AZ, strategy. This involves deploying instances across multiple AZs, each with its own set of resources and infrastructure. This ensures that if one AZ experiences an outage, the other AZs can continue to operate and provide services to clients. The CSB also uses redundancy to ensure that critical components such as databases and APIs have multiple instances, ensuring that if one instance fails, the other instances can continue to operate. The CSB also employs advanced monitoring and logging techniques to ensure that issues are quickly identified and resolved. This includes the use of tools such as Prometheus, Grafana, and ELK Stack to monitor performance metrics, log events, and identify potential issues. The CSB also uses automated incident response tools to quickly respond to issues and minimize downtime. To ensure seamless performance, the CSB employs a continuous integration and continuous deployment CI /CD, pipeline. This involves automating the testing, building, and deployment of code changes, ensuring that changes are quickly and reliably deployed to production. The CSB also uses Canary releases to deploy new versions of applications to a small subset of users, allowing for quick testing and validation before rolling out the change to all users. In addition, the CSB employs a DevOps culture that emphasizes collaboration, automation, and continuous improvement. This involves close collaboration between development, operations, and quality assurance teams to ensure that issues are quickly identified and resolved. The CSB also uses retrospectives and post analysis to identify areas for improvement and implement changes to prevent similar issues from occurring in the future. To meet the fluctuating demands of its clients, the CSB employs a dynamic pricing model that allows clients to pay only for the resources they use. This is achieved through the use of metering and billing tools that track resource usage and generate invoices based on actual usage. The CSB also provides clients with real-time usage analytics and forecasting tools to help them optimize their resource usage and reduce costs. Finally, the CSB employs a comprehensive disaster recovery plan that ensures business continuity in the event of a disaster. This involves having backup systems and data centers in place, as well as procedures for quickly restoring services in the event of an outage. The CSB also conducts regular disaster recovery drills to ensure that teams are prepared and able to respond quickly and effectively in the event of a disaster. In conclusion, the operational excellence framework of a cloud service broker employs a range of measures to ensure scalability, high availability, and seamless performance. These measures include a scalable infrastructure, containerization and microservices architecture, advanced load balancing and auto-scaling, multi-availability zone strategy, redundancy, monitoring and logging, continuous integration and continuous deployment, DevOps culture, dynamic pricing, and comprehensive disaster recovery plan. These measures are designed to meet the fluctuating demands of clients and ensure that they receive high-quality services that meet their needs.